this is the absolute carnage that we're left with, which like, yes, makes me feel bad, but at the same time, like, why am I holding on to junk like this? <laughs> We are in a place that you've probably never seen before and that is completely by design which is right in front of my desk. In any of my videos I always angle the desk out of the way because it's an absolute mess like nine times out of ten. I am getting this spring cleaning urge. Obviously I always do around this time of year and I want to tackle the desk this year. I'm really not a big fan of doing a whole entire closet purge and then hauling right after and like giving myself that excuse like oh I cleaned out my closet so now I need new clothes not the vibe this year i did that last year i did a really big clean out and that was liberating but now i'm kind of satisfied with my wardrobe with that being said there is a pile of clothes and such here i have like wires this is like the part of my desk like i don't ever want anybody ever to see but here we are i trust you this i might put in storage but yeah that's what this is and then underneath some jeans but mostly like bedding i actually got a new mattress and upgraded from a full to a queen which is crazy because like i'm in brooklyn how did i have space for that don't know but i love it that's also the thing is like i have bedding that i want to donate or bring to like a pet shelter because it does have period stains on it i don't feel comfortable or like it's very respectful to donate that to somebody so that's what that pile is i know what's there we're gonna ignore it for now like i do most things in my life that are causing me anxiety so let's move on to our first drawer here. Before we get too far into this video, I want you to drop a like down below if you like these organizational types of videos. This is something I definitely wanna be better at and like not have to do a huge entire clean out like once a year. We're gonna leave the top of the desk alone for right now. My makeup drawer so let's see what we're working with honestly like i know where everything is and like i'm fortunate enough to not have like an entirely humongous makeup collection but even like some of this isn't makeup it's like tools and i'm i like that i have this organizer but i think i just need to take it out and like redo it i truly never thought i'd see the day where i became like an organizational geek but here we are as a kid i was so stubborn about cleaning my room and just so messy like my mom would tell me to clean my room and i just wouldn't it was mostly because i didn't like being told what to do and i do really kick myself about that i wish as a kid i would have just like sucked it up and like learned how to organize my things nicely like by myself here we are now in adulthood figuring it out i just got this acrylic organizer from the container store i believe my gut is saying the container store it does hold like mostly makeup i also have some other things that are in here as well it's kind of skincare stuff so i have like pimple patches moisturizer neos born like that kind of stuff what i want to do and i think this is going to be really helpful that i'm like now looking at it i want to make each drawer it's own specific segment so makeup would be here this oh geez i don't even know what to say about this it's like literally just to catch off this drawer is like nails right now mostly there's hair care stuff in here a pipe i don't smoke anymore but i do have that i do have cbd cigarettes <laughs> probably should just throw them out and then this is another kind of mismatch drawer this is like mostly hair care in the front i have headbands in this little bag this is like literally empty i don't know why i keep this here um hair brushes dry shampoo hairspray and then i also have like emmy's hair stuff so i have like her brushes in here incense this otter box case which i can actually throw away a sewing kit and then i have like a little tiny organizer that is also from the container store for like wires and stuff like loose wires but i also like don't utilize this to its full potential like it's pretty empty i have my switch in here and i also have my nintendo Yes, I want every section to have its own meaning and honestly, it's just really difficult because this is my desk and my vanity area and I think I need to pare everything down and then go from there and then oh my god I also have this drawer Which is also a mess, but I don't know if we're gonna get to her in this video. Let's get to the makeup so on first look like there is some semblance of organization it just has gotten so far from that now so i'm gonna think of anything that's not like explicitly makeup and just put that to the side these are all over the place in all of my drawers i need to put them back in like 
little organizer. I've cleared out everything that's not makeup and I feel pretty good about that. There's just a lot of junk here. I am going to put back things that I think make sense to have near you when you're doing your makeup. Obviously like an eyelash curler. Pretty essential. Wouldn't you say so? Eye pencil sharpener, lip liner sharpener, hand sanitizer. So I'm going to put these back in the front right corner. But I do have a lot of these like little hair ties. I also have a bunch of these little like samples. I am just going to throw these away. I was hanging on to them because I felt guilty about throwing them away because they're little foil individual packet things. But I've never used them. So like why hang on to them? It's literally just causing clutter. All of these foil packets that I just get from like makeup samples, they have to go. My little hair clips should definitely go up front. I have three pairs of tweezers, which I definitely don't need. This one by e.l.f. though is my absolute favorite. So I'm going to keep her. I'm really reluctant to just throw things out because that's just not who I am <laughs> if you've watched this channel But I am gonna start like a little trash pile of all the Little elastics that are yellowed out meaning they're like Solidified I guess and like going to breaks. I have a spot treatment tea tree oil and a bunch of like lip ointment things i think this should go in like a skincare drawer acne tool skincare vaseline i feel like can go skincare hair ties definitely don't need to be here okay, i'm gonna put these q-tips back i have this little beauty q-tip which i actually don't love but i am gonna just keep it up front here and then everything else is like kind of skincare related i am gonna keep my hand sanitizer up front i have a bunch of these little like hair elastics i have some safety pens a straight pen and a bobby pen how many pens does one girl need I don't really know. Put these like in my sewing kit because I have a place for that. And then all these little elasticy things, I do have a little pouch for those. So everything else is pretty much skincare that I've kind of shoved in my makeup drawer. I think this is my issue. This is where I've been storing the elastic. So I need to put them in like an actual like little baggie. These little jewelry bags are perfect for hair accessories and like anything that's small. So I'm just gonna put them in here. Now I can recycle this. And this is where all my little tiny elastics live. I use these for like everything. I even have like a larger one for my headbands. I do love these and like try to repurpose them whenever I get them. Let's put things away in my sewing kit. That's that. A little extra things to take care of for now. I think now I'm just going to quickly kind of reorganize the actual makeup and walk you guys through that. this i wish it was like maybe a little bit more aesthetically pleasingly organized but this is what we're gonna do for now i'm just gonna walk you through these products that i'm deciding to get rid of i know for a fact these are like dried out and like crusty literally crusty i'm not even joking so these have to go this is like a broken eyeshadow that even if i repress it like there's really not much left this is like a nyx highlighter shade and i have a headache so I really did love this, but even if I repress it, it's just like not worth the time it would take to do that. I have a ColourPop eyeshadow that I just never wear. I don't, I mean, I feel like I should keep this actually. Like I never wear it, but it is beautiful and I should find out ways to wear it. So I'm actually going to keep this. It's a good rose gold. Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. I never wear this. I, it's like way too dark for me. I was planning on using this as a contour shade, but like even then i think it would just like look orangey on me yeah so i don't it's just not deep enough for a contour and that's just way too dark so i just need to get rid of this i am really quickly just going to wipe down the drawer with a wet rag um before i put this back in since residue has definitely built up over time basically the way i have this organized now is my lips are here for the most part i have all my tools and like extra little things that i grab as i'm doing my makeup or beforehand this is blush and single eyeshadows back here so anything i don't really use all the time went back here this is most of like my everyday stuff i can really easily grab it things that can stand up and are a bit thicker like my powder some blushes i have some eye stuff here and then like my cream products kind of sit towards the back yeah this is just basically like everyday stuff so that's that 
And I feel good, this drawer is done. Part of the reason why I've been putting this project off for so long is because I knew it would take a lot of time and that's exactly what's happening. I actually do have to go to work, probably pick this up tomorrow morning. Several days later. Um, hi, lighting's changed, angles changed, outfits changed, my voice has changed. I actually got sick and like the plan of action for this video was to wake up like 30 to 45 minutes early every day and like dedicate that extra time to decluttering my desk and then obviously like if you can hear my voice like I got sick so unfortunately that didn't really pan out as planned but I'm feeling much better now than I was like a few days ago so I decided to pick this back up and continue this decluttering journey last we left off I cleared out like my makeup drawer I'm excited to continue the fun following drawers I can't even lie like I'm feeling really ashamed of like the clutter I have and like the mess like the way my room like looks if I like don't stay on top of it and truthfully I just think I own too much stuff to keep up with there's a lot of improvement to be made and I'm excited to like be doing that but then part of me is like should I really be like filming this and putting it on the internet I know people are gonna judge like the way my room looks but it's mostly because I'm just like judging myself so harshly with that being said let's get into our next drawer this one's a bit of a doozy I think of the four the most like catch-all this is what we're working with here this is like a mix of like personal care skincare and then there's like makeup back here i'm gonna start with just like taking everything out and like looking at it i know for a fact that i should give these away these are like child size masks and i don't actually wear them now this is just where it starts to become like randomness this is like a wrench hair care stuff a lot of randomness here I'm glad I made this little baggie of elastics earlier. So this drawer, I definitely want it to be like makeup and skincare put together in one. I think like a lot of these like medicinal kind of personal care items I want in a different drawer. Just because my makeup is in this top one and there's still all of these palettes that just still need a home. This will probably end up in a project pan. This one, another large one. You guys saw this in one of my previous pans. This is the one I'm currently using up. So we like to have that accessible right on top there. Modern Renaissance, if you guys remember her, she was all the rage. It's like my highlight bronzer. And then these two little guys, I think actually there's room here. I'm gonna actually keep them like a little bit more top of mind. Really happy with that. Don't know why I didn't do that sooner. Personal care, like for sure, like brows. This is definitely more of like a makeup-y item that should definitely go in here. Pimple patches, extra tweezers, tools, dermaplaner obviously replacement razors for said derma planer a few more like skincare ish things so this is moisturizer sunscreen another kind of like lip balm i'm gonna throw the vaseline in there as well with that soothing skin recovery cream tea tree oil and what's left of this hand sanitizer is also gonna go in here from that drawer with left are like these medicine kind of type things this is something i took when i was having an allergic Ooh. reaction this is hydrocortisone cream i'm gonna get rid of this responsibly my pill thing i'm gonna put this in the kitchen cabinet where i actually like take my pills every morning this is all also basically like a daily supplement things buttons band-aids a liner antihistamine neosporin a retainer my retainer is not gonna go in there i thought about it i really did i really did for a second this next drawer is similar in the sense that it's like a mod podge of things right now it's like nail care and hair care i do want to keep it that way i have so many of these press on nail kits and honestly they damage my nails way too much i was so for them in the beginning getting because I thought it was more sustainable you can reuse them but just the damage it was doing to my nails is just not worth it in the end I have like four sets and like I don't wear them and they're just taking up space so I am gonna get rid of them let me show you this drawer before I like fully take it apart though so this is this drawer as far as looks go it's not like the worst in the world random plastic bag ceiling hook lots of little random nails lying around this is kind of cute this is a lighter cover that my friend Haley got for me it's like a photo of like a mirror pic and it holds lighters which is kind of cool nipple covers cuticle oil four whole sets and like i'll be honest like i gotta give myself credit i definitely use like the out of 
these. Like they're like broken or busted or also a bunch of nails strewn across here. Hey Siri, are press on nails recyclable? That was not helpful. Cannot be recycled, unfortunately. Well, that was obviously successful. What I'm gonna do because I used to keep like the devil's lettuce and that kind of stuff, like paraphernalia stuff. And here, I'm actually going to vacuum it out and then wipe it down. So I definitely want nail stuff back in here. These little bags are just full of nail polish. But I'm also gonna throw in beautiful oil, little nail file. I'm gonna go ahead and put like my hair care stuff in here, like curl product treatment things. Those have really been great and I want them like very accessible. Maybe I'll just do this. Wow, that's nice. Do you have a bunch of like hair care stuff here? I think I'm gonna obviously keep like my big bottles down here, but stuff like this is all just hair ties. My silk cap, for example, can come up. Heatless hair wrap. This says you can't act like a box sign. Expect to be treated like balayage. Lay it this way. Okay, cool. Nail care in the back. Hair care up front. There's so much more space cleared up here now, so I love that. Let me see. If it makes sense for me to like move yeah i could definitely like move my hair brushes here that i use like all the time okay this is empty so actually let me throw it away that actually cleared up so much space in this bottom drawer you know what i am gonna throw my retainer in here down here is still more like mismatched than i would like it to be but there's definitely like a lot more space and everything so maybe there are a few things i can throw in here okay i forgot to put this in here but it looks like it might not fit like the idea of like my, my tech being in this area let me put the buttons away i do generally feel really good about that i think i just want to go through and show you guys the drawers but first i want to kind of go through like what i'm left with basically a jewelry care i don't need this this can be recycled this little ribbon which is actually one of those like straps for when you hang up fancy clothes i use this as a hair tie but or like a bow you know what i am going to keep this because there are some times when you just want a bow. I'm gonna put this in my nice organized little bag here, which I do feel like I should go through this bag. These are all headbands that I currently love and use. It says like little sporty ones. These are all hair ties and scrunchies. Elastics. There's another baggie. This. I don't wear this. I don't wear this. And I definitely don't wear this like skins like face mask. Put them in the textile donation again. So this is reorganized. So I now know where my hair things are when I need them. Since I do have this bag, I am going to put all of my tools away. Okay, cool. So everything is nicely packed away. So I know this is like my tools kind of bag. Okay, my lint roller can definitely fit in here now. That's like kind of where it was unofficially living before and there's just space which is kept on my desk but now it has a place to live giving these away this stuff is gonna go like by my kitchen this is for suede shoes it's an eraser and a brush i don't know where to keep this i think maybe like i should put like a little baggie or something in my closet of like fashion care you know what? actually this will go in my sewing kit i'm a genius okay it doesn't exactly fit the brush doesn't fit but i'll put it next to it nipple covers i guess i'll put with like the miscellaneous drawer <laughs> yeah it's like it's just not worth risking throwing this out you never know when you need them this plastic baggie i'm gonna keep with my other skincare personal care stuff all this like random kind of like tool junky stuff like i have a place for that that's gonna go in our toolkit. So I just had a brilliant reduce, reuse, recycle idea. And instead of like trying to go to the container store or somewhere like Target and get a bunch of little containers, I'm gonna repurpose this iPhone box because why the hell not? Who's stopping me? Let's see if I can like take it fully apart. Okay, no, so this part will not come off. So this is actually stopping me, but the more shallow kind of like top of the box perfect for holding like little skincare goodies like stop it they all now have a home rather than just kind of like being loose in this drawer which like really brings me joy and peace and happiness it fits like perfectly that makes my brain just very pleased and happy so i'm really down for this chef's kiss <sighs> this is a pipe but also a stone and that's the only reason i don't want to throw it out could i put something else in here like repurpose it maybe as like an ash tray for like incense maybe like take out this little guy comment down below if you have any other uses for this but it is a really cool stone so maybe if i just leave it like face down 
like a decoration. Did I clarify that these are CBD, like hemp? Like this is not, I don't smoke. Like this only is for like a body chill and I haven't even done this in like over a year. I don't really like smoking. Smoking, you know, the other stuff makes me so anxious, so I don't do it. So let me give you guys an overview of this area here. And then I'm gonna take you into the bathroom. Yes, the bathroom. To continue like the personal care, beauty, skincare, declutter. Here's the overview, the makeup drawer. It goes a little bit further back than what I can like reach pretty easily just in the blushes, but that's why I organize it to be like my most used. Just live up here. And then we have lips. This is like daily makeup tools sanitizer spot treatment that sort of stuff and yeah this one ended up being skincare and makeup and like personal care so really just the palettes that wouldn't fit in this drawer are here and that's why they're like kind of towards the back but when you first open it up you definitely see a lot more of like the personal care items such as like a new spawn tea tree for like a natural spot treatment more skincare and then like pimple patches and then like my tools and stuff in an eye mask and here this one did like a big transformation so it's definitely like hair care on the bottom half really or bottom like two-thirds and then back here is like nail care lastly this ended up really taking out a lot of hair care i mean i still have like my dry shampoo i have a heat protectant and a hairspray and even like a hair oil i was able to just keep like more organizers for like when i travel this is something for hair and then in the very back here it's a bit more like tech since this drawer is a lot deeper i was able to fit like that kind of stuff so this feels a lot cleaner like i know everything that's in here and i feel really good about that we're in a part of my apartment that y'all have probably never ever seen before this is the little half bath that my apartment comes with so this is really good to use if the other one like someone's showering in like we go pee in here or whatever but i do keep a lot of like bath stuff in storage this and in the one behind it so we're gonna go through those together okay on first glance like there's there's a lot going on honestly like we can we can all agree on that i think like i basically know like everything that's in here and like it's you know in a nice little contained container but i do want to make it just more accessible i'm actually going to get rid of this brush i never use it cotton balls i'm going to keep for when i do my nails or i'm going to put them we don't know yet though these are just bars of soap that i've kind of bought in bulk Muse next maybe i should be taking some now some more rather my hair tools i literally only have these two this is my moisturizer this is also something i kind of buy ahead of time before i need it what is this Oh, this. This was like a diarrhea pill for when I was in India. My practitioner was like, you should not need more than one of these. But if you're having like explosive diarrhea, and I was. Might be TMI, but there was one there was one point when I was like not able to go further than like 50 feet for a half an hour away from the toilet. So I have a bunch of these. This is like a random packet, but these are denture cleaners, but basically retainer cleaners. Oh, this shampoo I do not use. It is not good for my hair. It's just like too heavy. Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. I should probably put this in the other bathroom for when I get out the shower. I have this little deodorant that I still have stuff in. This is for washing my makeup brush. Brushes, bikini trimmer oh it also has like a nose hair attachment which i find like super cool but i don't <laughs> use this i have these sheet masks when i had a permanent retainer i had to use these floss butters but i don't have one anymore so i should get rid of these since one of these little baggies opened up i'm gonna put all of my retainer cleaners in here b12 asparagus root tabs pain reliever this is such a catch-all like bin i'm like nervous to see what's in the other one honestly briogeo farewell frizz blow dry perfection and heat protecting cream i do want to keep this for when i do blowouts and stuff i am considering getting a hair dryer so if you guys have recommendations let me know down below ideally want something that's not going to like completely fry my hair so let me know i have two of these chagrin valley soap and solve different shampoos that i'm gonna try soon and see which one i love the most and just like order and stick to like one it's like violently hot in here i'm 
not well right now for many reasons. I want another one of these. This sunscreen is probably expired. Probably have to throw this away. I've had this for like four years now. So look at this little tiny floss. It's so small. I didn't even know this was here. I was like hiding. Velvet toothbrush, which is actually like really, it's an experience. I gotta say this is really good again for like retainers to clean. So I'm going to hang on to this. This used to be where I would put my salt deodorant. May she rest in peace. I dropped it. Where was I? I dropped it and it like shattered everywhere. I was in Mexico. This is a Lush moisturizing bar, which is very interesting. I need to put this somewhere else so I can actually use it. Oh my god. The pile that is like sitting here is like daunting and scary. Let's move to the other one. This even has stuff just like on top because it's like, I give up. <laughs> Oh my god, I just messed up the whole shelf. Oh, it's fine. We're fine. It's like totally not falling or anything. Where do I begin here <laughs> with this one? I have like pads and tampons for when I was like on travel. I actually need to get period panties. Like it's no joke. I don't really use tampons. I'm just gonna like put the two boxes together. Okay, hair rollers. We need to find storage for this. Let's see what's in this basket, shall we? I like that it has a closed top so you like can't always see inside. I have this like near empty nail polish remover. Hang on to it, we're almost done with it. This is basically just a bunch of like pills and stuff. More of these, I knew I had more. Yeah, this is all just like medicine and stuff. Oh, even more, wow. Melatonin, Advil, but I just have like a bunch of like prescriptions that I didn't even need restocked, but like for some reason my dermatologist like fully restocked me on a bunch of stuff and I was like, uh, okay. Like I even have another one of those hydrocortisone creams. I'm gonna get rid of these two. I, there's no need for them. A toothbrush, I don't need this. Another one of these velvet toothbrushes, I don't need this. I have so many toothbrushes. My mom is a dental hygienist, so that's like 90% of the reason. Okay, this loofah, it's actually time for me to put this in my shower. So I'm gonna keep this as like a travel bag. More toothbrushes. My friend Molly one year got me like 12 days bamboo toothbrushes and I've not used all of them obviously oh these are big ibuprofens oh this is for when I like had like a back spasm at work that was that was a time eye drops I don't need these I got LASIK and I'm so happy okay so this little box is just like replacement toothbrush heads which I do need when I do run out of these then I'll start working on like the other billions of toothbrushes I seem to have athletic tape for whatever reason. A little travel size toothpaste from when I had like Invisalign. They really were like, here is a free toothpaste that's like five milliliters for paying thousands of dollars for Invisalign. And I'm like, wow, thank you so much. Another tiny floss. Where are these coming from? More tampons. This is getting ridiculous. Eardrops for like cleaning my ears. I don't know, we'll think about that. Naproxen, what is that? Oh. This is when I like broke my ankle, like a soft tissue break. I think I should get rid of these. So what I'm gonna do is like rearrange the organization of this itself because right now I have like a lot of the medications that are like stock, like in the front. And like when I open this and pull from it, obviously I'm not looking for those and looking for things in the back. So I'm gonna move all of like the tooth stuff <laughs> to the back. And then I'm gonna put together all of these hundreds of things I seem to have into one little box. My box medication, you know what? I am gonna unbox it just so it doesn't take up as much space. Okay, vitamin C, I think I should be taking this more often. So I'm gonna bring that to my medicine cabinet. That is the kitchen. Toothbrushes can also go in the back. You know what? I haven't used this in ages, so eardrops are gonna go. Little tiny floss. So cute, I can't get over that. B12, another another vitamin should go up front. Oh god. Fish oil. This is like stuck together, but I think I should take this. I am gonna put my box of tampons and pads in here as well. Typically I use a cup and I really need to get period underwear, so maybe having this kind of like hidden away will encourage me to do so. There's another 
stocked up item. It's probably a good call that the dish soap goes in here. My sock moisturizer can go in here as well. This is Ayurvedic meds when I was like really on that wave in India. I bought a ton because I knew they'd be like way more expensive in the US and like I wasn't sure if I'd even be able to get my hands on it. Now I regret that. I'm also gonna put the big acetone away. These soaps and the cotton balls. Wow, it looks like kind of jam-packed, but like everything is just kind of like facing up and I know what all is in here. So that looks so much better. Oh no. And look, 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 this is my favorite part. Oh, it closes. Wow, okay, what's back here? I want it to close nicer. No, it's just kind of how it closes. Okay, that's fine. That is so nice. That is so crisp. Honestly, it just fits like so perfectly in this little shelving area. I'm stoked. All right, that brings me back to this little guy with everything showing. Another one of these. For this, I have in mind that it's definitely more skincare, hair care, beauty, and it's in my face, so I'm like using these things pretty often. First start with putting in these sheet masks. I'm not a big fan of these, by the way. I don't buy sheet masks, but because I bought them when I wanted to do like a spa night when I was traveling, I need to use them. My hair care tools definitely should go in here. They're like front and center. This one lays kind of nicely. I just know the hair curler is not gonna fit so nicely. Yeah, it pokes out a little bit. I have my trimmer and all those accessories, and I do have handy little bag I'm gonna put everything in just so it's all in one place and it doesn't get too messy these little hair care bars can definitely go in there oh my god are you kidding me more of this little toothbrush toothpaste duo never hurt nobody so we'll keep her on the front this moisturizer needs to go somewhere else so I actually use it yeah and then I just have some bags well that is this whole little basket situation it pains me to just like put these right on top it makes the most sense like I don't really have anywhere else to put them that is that i did get rid of like a good bit of stuff here behind me that we're gonna have to throw out responsibly of course in the final circle of hell that is my full bathroom we have more to go through guys i actually don't feel too bad about this because i feel like i pretty recently went through it this is what we're working with this half is mine so like i have can you see in here i have this like little lazy susan situation stuff in front and then also some drawers <sighs> even though i feel like i went through it fairly recently clutter is gonna do what clutter does and accumulate and always be there to deal with i go through this together and hopefully just get rid of some like that's really the point i just brought this over from the other bathroom so we're gonna try to use it up some of this stuff is like in my skincare project pan that you guys have seen so like they look really close to empty i know and i am gonna try to use them up but i think the best plan of action honestly is for me to just like take everything out and go from there so. <sighs> first things first this spa spin brush was so bad for my skin like i have really sensitive skin even with like the sensitive like setting i think i know i'm gonna have to get rid of it which is like heartbreaking because it was a gift these little bamboo rounds i just need to wash them I'm working my way through this like matching scrub and body butter this is a toner that accompanies the spin brush again not good for my skin it smells like very astringent okay this lighting is also kind of atrocious but thank you for bearing with me aztec secret indian healing clay do you guys remember the promises that this would like make you beautiful pretty shining and from the inside and out because i do and it's not the case this is also not that great for my skin gonna have to get rid of it wow i'm being so ruthless here i'm so close to using this side this is my salt deodorant i got a new one and luckily this one came with like a little dish this is a smile brilliant plug-in thing now smile brilliant is definitely out of business and unfortunately the plug doesn't even match with like any plugs i have so i'm gonna get rid of this but i will say it worked that's kind of what they get for like messing up people's like bites and like entire jaw lines and stuff so can't do dental to Discount. I have these little things and it says 100% compostable materials now I bet if I took this to the compost by me they'd be like whoa 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 stop right there what are you doing I don't use these though they're like a, oh my god they're like a great little 
trinket that came with a purchase and I got two of them. I don't need them. I'm gonna get rid of them. It's just a conglomeration of shampoo bars that I like haven't fully used. This is kind of sad. This is a conditioner that I am gonna hang on to because I know I like it. This is just honestly a mess. Like I should just throw this whole thing away. I don't even remember like what's what in here. This is a body soap sponge. So it's a sponge with soap already in it. I think I might use this soon. I have so much bath stuff guys but I'm telling you like this bathtub does not get cleaned often enough for your girl to want to soak herself in it. So I am cleaning the apartment today though. So mm, I'm gonna treat myself to a bath after I clean it. And I'm definitely gonna use like, some of this stuff. This is a bath bomb. It's a Christmas tree. I forgot who got me this, but it's so cute. To be honest, that stuff has been like sitting in the very back of this cabinet for ages. And I feel really good just finally being like, you know what? I felt guilty because some of this stuff is a gift or I purchased it with my own money with the intention to use it all up. But if it's been sitting here and like weighing me down, I just have to say no, no more. This is my menstrual cup. We love her. Aveeno Positively Radiant, ooh, night cream. Smells like old people. I don't know if that's like bad to say, ages of me to say, but like, you know what I mean? Like your grandma would have like that certain just like skincare smell. This is that to me. I'm gonna get rid of it because it also has like active niacinamide in it and it doesn't feel soothing. It actually stings when I put this stuff on. This is more moisturizing lotion and they're both damn near empty. This one is empty. I am actually embarrassed it's still in here. Not a good look for me. <laughs> this one might be empty too then. What the hell? You know, this one's also empty. What am I doing? What am I doing? Make it make sense. What? <laughs> I wonder how long they've been sitting there just like literally empty. This I feel like I went through not too long ago, but we're gonna go through it again because it is looking a bit of a mess. I already see that I have like seven toothbrushes in here too. So like, that's just ridiculous. This first drawer, I need to get rid of this menstrual cup because it actually leaks all the time. And that's why I got another one. These are panty liners that are reusable. This is like a little makeup remover wipe. This is really good if I actually have like some like like really stubborn eyeliner. This is a derma roller, which probably a dangerous thing for me to own and I'm gonna get rid of it because of that. Oh my gosh, I have more um, leaf razor blades, which is great because I have my razor in here. So I'm obviously gonna keep this. 40% glycolic acid skin peel. I don't need something so strong. I don't. My skin is like in a good place now. I need to get rid of this stuff. That was practically an entirely full drawer and now it's full of like four things. So refreshing, it feels so good. Next, oh, I have a little lip mask from my roommate. I'm gonna put this in with the other one so I grab it and use it. Oh, enzyme peel mask, I do like this. This is that brand that I don't like, I'm going to get rid of. Monistat, <laughs> gonna get rid of this. Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence from Fresh. I might use this sometime soon. Another acne spot treatment. I'm gonna hang on to this for when the other one runs out, but I do remember I really liked this stuff. This is a really miniature Tret Anoan. I don't need it. Basically, this is all just like travel size stuff. Mental cleanser, trial size, trial size. And this is Micro Refining Serum designed to uncover skin's natural clarity. I've used this and I do like it, but it's like an interesting kind of like pearlescent texture. Wow, another, another declutter. Now this is a mess. Oh, I have another one of these. I'm gonna throw all three of these away. I just don't think there's any need for them. Okay, this is kind of gross another extraction tool but i'm gonna throw this one away this is 0.1 percent tretinoin too strong for me this is a tretinoin that is too weak for me so i also need to throw this away i'm saying throw away but i definitely mean like recycle responsibly or bring back to the drugstore and like they throw it away for me oh my god another one of these things are literally everywhere okay this is a sample cleanser I did not know this had a little ball in here. Listen, a little tiny sunscreen that does need to be thrown out because it is empty. This I know is almost empty, but I'm keeping it. So when I do travel, I can just refill it with my actual big one and just like bring this with me. So essentially all that's in here is like travel size stuff and a tongue scraper that I forgot was in here. What I'm gonna do is keep all my travel size things with my little 
many size trial size things just to keep them together when i'm reaching for something travel size maybe i see something trial size and want to bring it with me try it out while i'm traveling whatever but i'm gonna keep my more like necessity things like a front like a tongue scraper and floss like that is a very practical thing to keep here this rest assured vitamin c eye cream is very old oh yeah it expires after six months so i do not think this is a good idea for me to use something by my under eyes because it is like a retinol or like vitamin c so that we it's just not safe anymore i'm gonna have my daily essentials here which is going to also include my tret my sunscreen which i love this by the way my clindamycin my sequel fate plus this unfortunately just too big doesn't fit in here this is going to be like my daily drawer which is really nice to have it just kind of all put in one place and easily accessible i'm really happy about this declutter even though like i said i went through it i think what i did more was like organize it and put it in place rather than sorry rather than like truly get rid of things that like i didn't need now i have my entire travel size little drawer i'm just gonna call this like menstrual slash other things i don't know not everything needs a name we don't need to categorize it wow that looks so much better so i'm gonna put that back now it can fit all the way back because there's no extra junk back there let's get to lazy susan shall we i don't think that's what this is called let's see what we have here this i don't really want to keep but someone else i know will use it so i'll keep it for them niacinamide plus zinc one percent i do want to get back into this when i'm specifically breaking out and i do love the ordinary so i'm gonna keep that this is in my project pan we're almost done with her this mask is just one of those things like i just feel luxurious and i just want to use it but what this is teaching me is i do tend to to hang on to face masks thinking like i'm gonna constantly be having a spa night treating myself that's just like the tourist energy in me truth be told it's hard for me to like find slash make that time for myself like i'm telling you guys it's a struggle to like keep my room clean like much less have a full-blown spa night <laughs> there's another charcoal mask that is just i love it i love the smell i love the texture i love the experience these things can probably get more consolidated this is a good moisturizer if i'm just gonna be like going running to the gym something like i don't want something to like really quench my skin but just keep it good while i come back and like right before i wash my face again so it's like a good workout moisturizer if you know what i mean so let's do masks here treatments here we'll do cleanser moisturizer here i love organization the bottom these are razors for my old safety razor so i'm gonna get rid of these there's like no use for them another floss which is good i'm gonna just keep that at the bottom this panoxyl i need to use up another cleanser i'll put that at the top this is in my project pan we're trying to use her up she's so close to being done hydrating mineral sunscreen definitely need that i also have like a sheer zinc this one this one is empty though so pha toner i'm gonna put that with the other treatments at the top i have saline wound wash gotta love it and you know what that now makes room for another treatment this is like an oil though so i'm gonna put that with my masks here and that leaves room for my daily wash to go in and then the mask i'm trying to use up as well as the little tiny toner that i'm using up that is that oh shit. oh my god i kind of got too excited that's gonna go back in here ah living in new york city vertical storage is an absolute must like you just cannot get by without it the body care things that i'm trying to use up will also go kind of like front and center or they'll be easily accessible shall we say deodorant is also gonna have the top spot right there oh i love that so much i can like reach everything I know where it all is it's all like tucked away and it looks nice these are probably gonna go in my like daily little thing when they're clean again i just want to wash them just to have like a refresh on them oh my gosh i am so ready to get out of here and recap what we just went through together this is the absolute carnage that we're left with which like Yes, makes me feel bad, but at the same time, like, why am I holding on to junk like this? Like, we need, we need answers. Well, we made it. If you stuck it out all the way through with me, thank you so much. I've never properly done, like, a personal care, bath, beauty, like, clear out. So, that was intense for me, obviously. But also comes with it, like, 
a lot of shame like I feel shameful owning so much stuff especially stuff that was like half empty or near empty because like I'm not using it to its full capacity and then it's just taking up space and collecting dust. Most of those things in the big bathroom like could have been in an empties video had I known that they were empty in the first place, had I like reach for them, touch them, grab them. But on the flip side of that, now that I have less, I can use more of what I have, which is like the point of kind of decluttering and hopefully I won't have to do another one of these videos for a very 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 long time slash ever again which is really insightful like I have a ton of vitamins that I should probably be taking or just be more consistent with again there is a little bit of shame of just like I can't believe I have this much and then on top of that I can't believe I'm going to throw out or recycle or empty out so much of this stuff too it's an interesting landscape like emotionally to navigate because I do want to be responsible I don't want to have too much I don't want to throw out anything and that kind of leads me to pack rat and collect and over time just like have a bunch of clutter. That being said, this was a great exercise for me to just kind of like be ruthless, go through everything and clean it all out. And it feels good. I do genuinely feel like overall good about having cleared out so much stuff. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you like organization, decluttering, room design, interior design, redecorating, like I'm all into that stuff and I'm gonna be moving this year. So if you guys wanna see videos like that, you should definitely subscribe and like this video too. Let me know that you like these kinds of videos. Thank you so much for sticking out with me. If you made it all the way, comment down below a turtle emoji. That's how I'm feeling. Just like, I wanna like go into my shell and take a nap for like five years is how I'm feeling right now. I need it. On that note, don't forget to be kind to yourself, others, and the planet, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.